you guys, Jake here from CVP. I'm on the Black Magic booth at NAB 2018 looking at their brand new Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. This is their long-awaited update for their original Pocket Cinema camera that came out in 2013. This camera seems like it's a huge improvement in every single area and is finally going to be competing with the likes of the GH5S and the A7 series. So you've probably already seen the tech specs up online, so what I want to focus on is how it lays in the market, how it compares to the competitors and why this could be a very, very interesting camera for the solo shooter producer. So starting off with the ports, uh, you've got many welcomed additions. You've got a mini XLR with phantom power, full-size HDMI, a two-pin lockable DC power port, and probably my favorite port, the USB-C. So with this, you can do power and data. So what that means is the data, you can record straight to a USB-C SSD, and with the power, you can just power off a USB battery bank, which makes shooting out and about much, much easier. The, they've changed the battery from a Nikon one, which they used in the original Pocket Cinema camera, to the commonly used Canon LP6. Moving on to the sensor, they've changed the size of the sensor. So the original one was 12.48 by 7.02. This new 4K one is 18.96 by 10 millimeters, and the GH5S is 17.3 by 13. So what this means is it's gonna be really interesting to see which how speed boosters behave now with this camera. Um, so I was speaking to a rep at the booth and he told me that they think an XL is gonna be the best option, but I'm very intrigued to see how this all pans out. So comparing it to its competition at the moment, GH5S is dominating the Micro Four Thirds filmmaking market at the moment. So it'd be very interesting to see how this can affect that. The original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera was loved by many. It was small, it was compact, and with the MFT mount, you could put some beautiful glass on it, and it was a really nice, you know, Super 16 digital uh, camera that you could shoot raw in your pocket. Pocket. Obviously, with this one, it's much larger, but I think they've kept the same design principles, so they're offering a lot of specs, a lot of usability in an entry-level cinema camera, and have done it at such a great price, and I think people are gonna love it. This camera obviously is a lot bigger than, than the original, um, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. A lot of people would rig the original Pocket Cinema camera out quite a bit, so you know, it having this extra bulk to it isn't really too much of a big deal. It's actually a lot more comfortable in the hand. So that's a quick look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera 4K, and I think it's going to be extremely popular, just as the original was. It's you know, packing a lot of power into, into a very small form factor. And I think it would be great for you know, people looking to end for entry level cinema cameras and people who have existing Blackmagic cameras and are looking for a great little B camera that will fit into their Blackmagic workflow already. These are our thoughts on the new Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And if you guys want to get hands on or test the camera at all, just get in contact with the CVP demo team.